we already had a look at Montex AX120 PVM ARGB fan and if you haven't seen that video please check it out before watching this one because this one is about the Aurex 120, the reverse spinning version of Montex 120mm case fan. On paper, both fans are incredibly similar. Both are controlled using a 50cm long PVM cable and both got that rounded off cube shaped RGB strip which is fully controllable over a 3-pin ARGB cable. Both got that rubber around the holes on each corner and both are spinning at up to 16 RPM while it's pushing 59 CFM at 1.8 millimeters of H2O on paper. And I'm not saying on paper lightly. Although I believe that almost no manufacturer is actually testing the fans that they are releasing, but on paper because the RX120 has a reverse spinning fan blade design, meaning it is pushing air out on the side that looks pretty. It still has the nine fan blades that are similarly shaped, but all of them are reversed. And we got the two arrows reminding us that if you let the fan spin and look at the arrow, you are going to get a bunch of air right into your face. So for what exactly are these created? Side and bottom mountings. There are more than enough cases around that got some fan spots on the bottom, sometimes above a PSU or on the side. And if the user wants these spots to be used as an intake, he might end up with a bad looking design because he needs to turn the fan around and that's where reverse spinning fans come in. Same design, but the fan blades are reversed, giving you the good looking PC whose airflow path wasn't thought through by somebody who's just gotten a lobotomy. And this today provides me with the unique opportunity of testing if a reverse spinning fan with the same specs is actually as powerful as the regular version. It's not. Using the RX120 in our case fan benchmark machine showed that somebody lied. At 46.6 degrees C above ambient, the RX120 performed exactly 1.5 degrees C behind the AX120. Slowly lowering the fan speed in 10% steps showed that this trend is absolutely all across the board. From start to finish, the noise of both fans was so identical that the curve looks parallel, just offset by one and a half degree all the freaking time. And for this test we use the original layout, meaning that air goes in at the same spot and comes out at the same. But the reverse spinning span got the special treatment of being turned around so that the whole thing still works. So no fan was closer or further away from the heatsink. Everything was identical, but it was still offset. So did Montek lie on their spec sheet? Not necessarily. I still absolutely believe that there are numerous fans out there where the actual performance values, so amount of air and static pressure are calculated using the wings and the speed and nobody actually measures their true performance after they are produced. I'm sure there are outliners, but most of them, I nah, I don't believe that. However, something that isn't explainable in any like performance metric is how the air is being pushed. Some fans are spreading the air everywhere and others are creating like a straight flow and everything is, is in between A and B and there there is a lot of air and there is nothing outside of that stream. And even if the fan wing design is identical but reversed, this could still result in a difference in performance because who knows what reversing a fan blade does to like the path. I'm quite glad that we already have the new fan box that uses that Noxia P1 as a measuring tool because a 120 mil fan couldn't possibly spread the air far enough to make a result um, in a drastic way. So I'm very confident when I say the RX120 performs worse than the AX120. And that's okay. It's a reverse spinning fan. I just I just don't like when the numbers are all equal while the performance results change by over a degree. Especially because I know that, or I think to know that nobody checks if these results are actually true. Why? Because if you take away that potential spread factor or whatever you want to call it, 
If both fans are pressed against something that measures it immediately as it exits the fan, the results should be somewhat equal. Like a radiator, so that's what we did. Installing the RX120 on our octopus revealed that at 16.9 degrees C water temperature above ambient, they now landed almost 3 degrees behind the regular AX120s. Again, reverse fan, reverse again to create the same scenario as the regular one. And this now shows two things. A, our fan box blurred away every possible factor as much as possible, measuring only how much air is being pushed in and pushed out, which makes me very happy. But B, it also shows that the AX and RX are definitely not performing similarly, especially not on a radiator. And the funny thing is, fans on a radiator are creating a different noise than free air. Makes a lot of sense because the air is now slapping against fins. The thing is, depending on how the air is slapping them, the noise will be different. And in the case of the RX120, the noise is actually significantly lower than on the RX120. So in the very least, we know that how the air escapes the fan is without a doubt different on the RX120 than on the AX120. Not even to mention that it performs horribly on a radiator. So where does this leave us? As a case fan, it's still okay. It's definitely not the best or even in the top 10, but it does the job for a case fan. Even at the same level as a Nokia S12A or B, it might be a bit louder, but it will do the job. For a case fan it's fine, it's not meant to be spinning at 100% all the time, or at all, and it being priced at the same 990 as the regular version, the conclusion will stay the same. If you got a Montex Sky 2, sure, get another one of these and fill the leftover bottom fan spot with it, that's fine, you won't regret it in, to that extent. I just don't see a reason to go out of your way and fill an empty case with these. Sure, you got the reverse spinning fan blade and everything looks nice and shiny and everything looks identical, but there are just so much better alternatives out there. For radiators, it's, it's just a no, just don't use those on radiators. Don't use, don't use reverse, reverse spinning fans on a radiator, that's a bad idea. But the big point of today's video, reverse spinning fans are not identical. Not, they are not regular fans, they perform differently. No matter what the spec sheet says, you cannot take a reverse spinning fan, flip it and expect it to perform 100% like the regular would. The blades are flipped, things are going to change. But okay, for today, this is going to be it for Montec and their reverse spinning RX120. At this point, a huge thank you to Montec for sending them over and allowing us to finally settle that reverse spinning fans are different. On a side note, we also have a Discord server, so if you want to join, the link is down below. And of course, we still have channel membership, so if you're looking for a good way to sell your soul for an RG Poop emoji, that's a pretty good way to go. Additionally, you can rest assured that the income will not only keep the channel afloat, but it will also serve to get a lobotomy, because at some point, I would like to take my shot at working for one of these pre-builders and that requires a very special kind of airflow path design skill set only achievable by getting one of the safest medical procedures out there. Anyway, thank you for watching and if you want to continue, have a look at our take on the Montex Sky 2. That's where the, those fans actually come from. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.